Before the next panel, I prep a couple of these connectors. I take two aluminum connectors. I can fish the bolt through here and put the nut on a couple of threads. This allows me to drop this in from above. So you go up the ladder and up here is the top of the rail. And I'll just drop this in from above. Come on, doing it one-handed. Slide it down, get it onto that panel, which I might have to loosen it a little bit. Now these Shuko panels that I'm using, these are 158 watts each, and they're an older design. There's a positive on one side and a negative over on the other. Now the cords attached are long enough that you could put all the negatives on one side, like I'm doing, or you could go negative and positives. They all are series connecting. The only thing that's important to me is that when I connect up the next row over, that one I'm gonna have to make sure that, like over here I have a positive, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I put a negative on this panel so those two will reach. But these ones, they do have very long cords on them, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. The end brackets are very similar, they're just one-sided. <laughs> if you buy panel hardware today, it's going to have a like hardened teeth on it that will bite through the anodized coating on the aluminum. These older ones, they don't have that which means that I need a separate grounding lug right here for each panel. I also need to ground the frame itself. So I'm uh, before I put the next panel on it, you can see I need a flathead on this side. So I'm gonna lay in my uh, copper grounding wire, tighten this screw before I put the next row of panels on. The grounding wire I'm using is a six gauge copper. It's twisted, there are multiple strands here. Uh, now, in my last video about grounding, several people said I was supposed to use a solid wire. Uh, now, I double-checked this with an electrician and a solar installer, and uh, both are legal, and that's all I can tell you. Now, maybe in your particular area, uh, your electrical inspector has a different requirement. This is the one that I have, so this is the one I'm using. These are tin-plated copper uh, with stainless steel hardware and they're what's called lay-in. So I can just lay the wire in, I don't have to feed it through a hole. So I can lay the wire in and tighten the screw on it. Now I'm not trying to yank on this to make it perfectly taut. There's a little bit of flex in here and I'm just gonna leave that flex. After I came up and snagged all those panels, I came around and I grabbed the tops of these rails where I also have these lugs attached.
When I took these off of the array in the front yard, I had all these grounding lugs just attached. So I never disconnected them, and that's why I'm laying the grounding wire in as I go. But I just realized that I could have taken them off, and after all the panels were mounted, I could have reattached them from the back side and then laid the wire in. Because this is not on a roof, I have access to the back side of the panels. But I didn't think of that, so if you guys did think of that earlier in the video, <laughs> good job. <laughs> This upper inside screw, I just couldn't get to it from the back side. So I put some styrofoam on this ladder and now I can climb up. It's pressing on the middle of this solar panel uh, right above a rail. So it should be all right. We'll see. Please don't break. <laughs> all right, didn't break on me. Oh, and we, we are finally done. Woo, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, let's take a closer look at these clips. You can kind of see how they attach on there. And these end ones and how they attach. They all look good. They're in line with each other. Look at that. I'm, Kind of proud of how that came out nice and straight yeah yeah we're salvaging some of these pressure treated boards so that we can put them back here behind this solar array we're going to make a little deck right here so here's some of these boards that's some of the other boards that I had before and we're just making a little deck here ready, ready. all right good job here we go we're gonna take this to the back of the solar panels all right yeah you're such a good helper there you helped daddy yeah. See? See, Eleanor, you helped Daddy get those in place. Good job. What are those, Eleanor? Um, <laughs> well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out the links in the description below, the Patreon page and the Amazon affiliate links. Those really do help out the channels. Those gusts are really picking up. Gusts are supposed to be 25 miles per hour right now. Haven't seen any movement in the array though. <laughs>